A number sequence is defined by two things. Firstly, by the first term of the sequence. Secondly, the rule of the sequence. Now, let's say, for the purpose of explanation, that the first term of a given sequence is 5. And then the rule of the sequence, say, add 3. Now, if we need to list the sequence, we'll begin with the first term, 5, and add 3 to the next term, 8, and then add another 3, 11, another 3, 14, another 3, 17. In fact, the list goes on and on. Now, we have a standard question here. We need to write out the first 5 terms of each of these sequences. Now, the sequence for question A starts at 4 and increases by an addition of 2. So, the sequence begins at 4, increases by 2, that's 6, increases by 2, that's 8, increases by 2, 10, increases by 2, 12. Now, these are the first five sequence, the terms in the sequence. Now, in question B, we start at 23 and subtract 2. So, the sequence, be sequence looks like something like this, 23 and subtract 2. Uh, you have 21, subtract 2, you got 19, subtract 2, you got 17, subtract 2, you have 15. And for question C, the sequence starts at 5. The next term, you subtract 3 from 5, and that will be 2. And 2 take away 3 again, you have minus 1. And minus 1 take away 3, you have minus 4. And then the next one will be minus 7. So this is how you really solve a real practical question. Now, we have another set of questions. This time around, we have a pattern. Now, in question A, we are asked to write the pattern as number sequence. So we've got all those patterns here. Now, in the first pattern, you can see that we have four sticks. So as a number sequence, we begin with four. The next pattern, we have how many sticks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven sticks. And then the third pattern, let's see how many sticks we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten here, ten sticks. So the sequence now is four, seven, ten. Now question B says, what is the rule? Well, if you look at question A, you will find that the sequence increases by an addition three. So the rule here is add three. And totally, uh, the question says, find the next two terms. Well, it's very easy. If this increases by 3, the next term after 10 will be 13 and I think 16. Yep, so we have 13 and then 16. Now we have the third question. More like the, the second question, the one we saw earlier. But this time around, we have triangular kind of shape. And the question A is, is write a pattern as a number sequence. So, if you look at the first uh, pattern, we have three sticks. So, the sequence there is three. The first term, the sequence three. The next one, let's see how many sticks we have here. One, two, three, four, five. So, we have five sticks here. And the next pattern, let's see how many sticks we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven here. So, we have seven sticks. So, the pattern of the pattern, the, the sequence of the pattern is three, five, seven. Now, the question this is, what is the rule? Well, if you look at the sequence above, you find that uh, it follows a particular rule pattern, and that is an addition of two. Okay, so the rule is add two. And lastly, we have a question at the bottom which says find the next two terms. Well, it's very easy. If this term increases by a factor of two, and it will have seven here, the next two terms definitely has to be nine and nine plus eleven, so we got nine and eleven. So this is just how you work a number sequence. Now, in our next video after this, you will be learning how to use the position to term rule to get some questions resolved. Okay, I'm going to say bye-bye to you until then. Bye-bye.